Shalom there. This is Juan Carlos again. Welcome to the Light of the Nations channel. Finally, we are in March 21st, and according to the Sefer Hayyavalim, uh, the Book of Jubilees, uh, this should be the fourth great uh, day of remembrance. And according to Hanok, this should be the fourth intercalary day. Uh, meaning that today we should uh, experience the equinox. Um, amazingly enough, I have been facing some difficulties uh, since uh, last night, and especially today, in order to track the the sundial. Um, you know, just to name a few of them. Uh, currently, I'm recording this video, and I lost my internet connection uh, since uh, 7 a.m. this morning, and it seems that the technicians said that they are gonna uh, repair this uh, just on Thursday, I mean two days from now. So this is the first time it happened to me and actually I find it very weird. Uh, and in addition to that, I, this morning I was uh, in our place, not here, at home, and I have issues with the battery of the car and I had to call an SOS emergency to, to tell me because I couldn't return. And also this happened today, didn't happen yesterday, didn't happen last week. It's kind of weird. And also last night I had a spiritual experience. And for those that you are watching this video and believing in these kind of things, uh, some spirit was bothering me and it was a very tough thing. So again. Thanks to Yahuwah, I'm here. I have been tracking the equinox in the solar noon. Uh, good news, at least so far, is that it seems that uh, we have enough evidence to, to believe that specifically today is the equinox. Uh, I have some videos from yesterday that I was tracking also during the day, and according what I saw in the two equinox, uh, sundial, sorry, that, I, that I have, uh, equinox didn't happen yesterday as the science was saying. Uh, please check the, the videos of uh, Jerry Morris. Uh, he also uploaded some videos yesterday uh, about the equinox uh, with uh, his troops. Uh, they are very, very nice, so take a look on those. And I hope to upload some, some videos uh, about the experience today with the sundials. Uh, and just for you to see what what I saw and what is the the whole situation with the equinox. Believe me, so far I have no doubt that tomorrow is the first day of the year. Tomorrow, March 22nd, Wednesday, the fourth day of the week. According to the creation week, you can see that the sun, moon, and stars were created in the fourth day. So we are experiencing this year as well, that the year starts in the, the cycle of the sun and the old luminaries are starting also in the fourth day of the week, uh, confirming somehow what Hanok uh, received and explained to us uh, in, his, in his book. Anyways, the, um, the whole idea of this video is uh, to share with you some basic understanding of the how sundials work. Um, first of all, I'm not an expert. Uh, what I'm going to share with you is a uh, basic understanding of uh, what I have learned in my own research, looking in some documents and also for sure the internet. Uh, but I think it is important to understand uh, how the sundial works, and more than the sundial, how the shadow of the sun works. Uh, because you know, sundial is basically you can put a stick in the, in the ground and you will have a shadow. So you need to understand how the shadow works in order to identify very clearly when is the when, when is the equinox. So I'm gonna I'm gonna share with you um, some some things that I have over here. Uh, the overall idea is to explain you in very high level details uh, how to read the, the shadow and when to identify the, the, the equinox. This is basically what I'm doing in the videos. Uh, 
uh, how I'm identifying the, the evidence. So let me share with you my screen and I'm gonna keep explaining you the whole situation. So basically, here we have a map of the world, just for references. Uh, again, I'm not saying that this is the shape of the world, it's just for the reference of the, to understand the sun dial. So red line means that this is the equator. Uh, so everything that is above the, the line, uh, so far is called the northern hemisphere, and everything that is below the line is the southern hemisphere. Uh, I'm currently in the southern hemisphere, and just for references, I'm over here in this tiny spot over there. So it's very important to understand these differences because uh, how the shadow will uh, behave in the sundial will depend on your location. If you are in the north, you will have a, a specific shape. If you are in the south, you will have a different shape. Okay. Uh, so saying that, here you have some uh, examples of sundial. By the way, the first sundial I built, I used the instruction that is in this website, planetary.org. Planetary so here you have some examples that are, I don't know, it's going to be my, much easier to, to understand the differences between uh, uh, the, 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 the two locations that I was saying, the northern and the southern. So in my case, for example, uh, this uh, example, this graph, uh, represent what I'm seeing uh, throughout the year. So when I'm in the summer solstice for me, this is on December, in the southern hemisphere, the shallow is doing this movement, okay? So from December on, every time the, we are getting closer to the equinox, this line, this curved line, is getting a more and more straight. So when we get to the day of the equinox, we need to get a straight line that is basically telling us that the sun is coming directly from the east and going down directly on the east. And the entire path that the sun is, is doing throughout the, the, the sky, the Shamaim, is drawing a straight line in the sundial or the ground, if you have a stick on the ground for us as a sundial. Going beyond this line, so meaning that I'm moving forward to the to the next solstice, the the shape of the shadow will be in this way. Okay, so when we get the maximum curve line over here is because we we, we got to the to the new solstice. And again, the sun starts to move back to the original position, meaning that this curve line is getting more and more straight day by day, or month by, by month, until we get to the same point here, and the same uh, effect that we will face in the day, or we will, we will find in the day of the equinox, a uh, perfect straight line. So this is an example of the people that are in the southern hemisphere. If you are in the northern hemisphere, the situation is going to be like this one uh, in the United States. So for the solstice on December, this is going to be the line. So it's going to be a pure line. And uh, when you are going beyond December towards uh, March of the equinox of March, you are this this line is gonna again it's gonna get straight uh, more straight day by day until you have a perfect straight line over here. And moving beyond that that day, getting to the June solstice, you will end up with a shape like this. Okay. For sure, and, and keep in mind, everything depends on your location, your latitude, and etc. But anyways, the what you will see in your sundial 
uh, the shape of the shower that you will see on the, in the sundial, it will be similar to this if you are in the north, or similar to this if you are in the, in the south. Okay? Actually, here you have the other examples that uh, uh, this, this place, uh, Sri Lanka, is also in the southern hemisphere, and the, the, the curves and the shadow is have a, having a similar uh, shape than this other one, but uh, it, it changed a little bit uh, because of the location, and the same is happening here in, in Canada, in the example of Canada. So, uh, Again, I'm coming back to you. Here I am. Okay. Um, this is very important to understand because uh, if we want to track the equinox and, and we don't want to track the hours uh, during the day, and this is my case, I'm not trying to track in the hours, I'm just interested to track when the equinox is. Uh, what we need to find and what we need to look for in the, in the sundial is a perfect straight line between the first uh, mark in the morning of the shadow, the mark that we are having during the solar night, and the third mark that we are having in the, in the evening, okay? For sure you will see my videos that I have been putting different marks uh, during the day, just to have uh, different ref references when I am gonna check the straight line. Uh, but the most important thing is to, to use a perfect ruler to, to check the, if we are getting a perfect line or not. If we really are getting a perfect line, it's because we, we are in the day of the equinox. And I can tell you, you will see on the, on the, on the other videos, uh, yesterday we didn't have a perfect line. Today, so far, what I have seen, we are getting to the perfect line. So it seems that we have the evidence uh, with the sun dial that today is the equinox. We already have the evidence of the, sun, uh, of the moon, when the moon already told us that uh, today should be the equinox day or the fourth day of remembrance so good we will see at the end of the day i hope that the, this video will clarify some things to you about sundials it's not a difficult thing uh, for sure you want to move forward to identify the hours that that require more and more information i'm not doing it so far and actually i have not studied how to do it in the same page by the way you find information about that, that point but uh, again I think uh, if you read a very sheet in the account of the creation of the luminaries there are three specific things that the uh, Yahua is telling us uh, that, are, that are the basic measurement of time I think this is in the verse uh, 14 or 18 we can we can take a look it's in the four day of four day of the creation since that he created the luminaries for um, Shanaim, years, Kenim, days. Also, it's mentioned in Metod, sign, and it's mentioned in Moim. So, if we want to take a, a look on the measurement type, that the basic measurement type that the scripture is telling us is the year and the day. There are other measurement times that are being, being used throughout the scriptures. I will try to include this in a presentation that I, I hopefully put in, in a video as well. Uh, but uh, just for us to understand the meaning of things that the Torah and our Creator is, is telling us that, that we need to measure is the day and the year. So don't, don't get confused, don't try to monitor the hours with the sundial. That's not the important thing. The important thing is to understand when the day begin and when the day end, sunrise to sunset, and also to identify when the equinox. Because identifying when the equinox is, we will know for cer certain as a second witness when the when the year the new year is beginning. Okay, so that's for for now. From now, uh, enjoy and hope to see you soon. Shalom.